Hi, I'm Carolyn. And I'm Katie. And we are the students from HIHA Journalism and Broadcasting Program. We agree. It's hard to stay happy, especially during the low points of our life. Therefore, the purpose of this vlog is to help you all, students in Singapore, to take steps to improve your life by staying positive and finding ways to feel happy. We all know that focusing on our academic goals are important, but we should also take a step back to care for our emotional well-being. Why? Spending too much time doing homework can also lead to many health problems. Studies found that students who spend at least 3 hours a day on homework are more likely to develop health and mental problems, such as depression, lack of sleep, and lack of balance in their lives. Furthermore, it will create back problems for students who sleep for too long. With reference to the consequences, we should take some time to do some simple exercises to calm ourselves and reduce stress. By exercising, it also helps us to connect to our emotions and thoughts. Hence, we should be aware of the consequences for studying long hours and also do some basic exercises to balance out our stresses and care for our emotional well-being. Also, with social media on the rise, more and more negative side effects are surfacing. Anxiety is one of them. Social media can cause anxiety boils down to unnecessary comparisons. A study found that women in particular felt worse about themselves after interacting with someone more attractive than themselves on social media. Studies also show that users with heavy use of social media have between a 13 and 16% higher chance of being depressed. This could be due to the lack of real-life relationships users are making. The online relationship does not have the same emotional satisfaction that you can get with real-life relationships. Knowing this, one way to help us solve the up and rising problem is to take some time off social media. It can be hard, knowing how addicting it can be. But doing so, we are staying away from the negative perspective of the world portrayed by the media. For me, what I found most effective is to directly delete the app. Unless your family uses the app, apps like Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat can be uninstalled. Though you might not feel cool or normal, just know that you are doing this for your own good. Another problem we are starting to face is the bad relationship with our parents. During this period of time, as we are entering our teenage years, we might sometimes get too caught up with ourselves that we shout or fight back, resulting in a lot of conflict. For example, doing household chores and cleaning up shared spaces take up to 70% of our arguments. Most of the time, we forgot that our parents do this to remind us to make sure they are equipped with the basic life skills. Feeling guilty? Don't worry, there's still time for change. Talking to your parents is one of the best ways to rekindle your relationship. It's never easy to be honest with another person, especially when the truth may hurt their feelings. But all you can do is to be calm and respectable, and hopefully your parents will appreciate their honesty paving the way for a new, healthy relationship. Stay on point, listen, but be assertive Exercising, need. Taking time off social media and spending time with your parents are just some ways for you to stay happy. But to us, spreading the happiness bar is the best way to live a happier life. Hence, here are five ways you can spread the happiness bar. The first way is to think positive in every situation by looking at the bright side. The second way is to be kinder towards yourself, then you will naturally treat others with kindness too. For example, write down three things you appreciate about yourself every day. Thirdly, we should express our gratitude by thanking someone else for what they have done or greeting our neighbour. Fourth way is to say something nice about others. Examples include texting, thoughts, quotes and pictures to your friend who's having a bad day. The last way is to hide a surprising and kind note with a loving and encouraging sentence. By doing that, we can brighten up someone's dull day. To conclude, these are some ways for you to live a more positive lifestyle by spreading happiness. Spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come without living happier. This quote by Mother Teresa reminds us to always spread happiness, no matter to who, when, how or why. Thank you. Bye.